Well, good morning, everyone. It's wonderful to see you. Happy New Year. Just a few uh, announcements before we get started. Uh, if you haven't checked the mailbox or Brother Robert hasn't seen you yet, we still have some uh, Christmas cards out there uh, that have your names on them for some of you. So make sure you stop by and uh, see that. We are back to our normal schedule this week. This evening we have Awanas. We'll have Awanas at 6 o'clock. Uh, 6.15, I'll do the Bible question and answer. 6.30, we have our normal evening service. Tuesday, our ladies' Bible study starts back up. Wednesday is the Joy Luncheon for those 50 and older, or think you're 50 and older, like Wayne. You can come out and join us for some uh, food. Men's breakfast is coming Saturday, starting at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning for the breakfast. 6 o'clock, men, if you'd like to come and help cook or any time between 6 and 8. And we'll get you out of there by 9. At 10 o'clock on Saturday, anybody who likes to uh, decorate or help climb ladders, whatever, please come join us as we uh, transition out of the Christmas uh, season into a winter season of decorations. Uh, a week from, let's see, a week from Wednesday is our teachers meeting. A week from this coming Friday, our deployed spouses. That's for our single moms, widows, and deployed spouses. We'll have a meal for you. We'll watch your children. Uh, celebrate Recovery. Uh, you can read that little article in there. It starts on Friday the 14th, and that goes at the New River Baptist Association um, building and our ladies' ministry on Saturday the 15th. That's just the first two weeks that took up the entire bulletin. If you want to know what's going on in the whole month, you should receive in your email an electronic copy of the newsletter. Uh, if you haven't or would like to um, get this via email, please give me an email address, fill out a card, and I'll make sure that you get that. Um, or you can go to the website. It's on there electronically. On the last page, there's a calendar that lets you know everything that's going on. There's articles by Pastor Mike and others in there about what we're doing and why we're doing what we're doing. Brother Zerlippi will be starting a class uh, Tuesday, January 25th here at 6 o'clock on the back of the bulletin. You can read it. called Financial Peace. He's starting a new year, having a problem with money, a good way to get on, on the right track, and he can help you with that. Um, we still have an urgent need for help in our kindergarten uh, hour at 9.45 to 10.45. And if you get a chance to see the... I just drew a blank on their names. Santi and Brother David Comerford, their 32nd anniversary, these flowers are up here in celebration of that. I think that's all the announcements. Miss Jessica. Okay, let's stand and sing. My hope is built on nothing but 
you so much, praise team. We, we just appreciate you so very, very much. So at Centerview, we believe if you just have Jesus in your heart and bow before him, you'll never again have another problem in your life, right? No, 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 no. The Bible says through the prophet Isaiah, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, have you ever been in a really rushing river? I mean, a really, really rushing river. I took a trip of a lifetime with my dad and my younger brother, Matthew. We went to Banff uh, and Jasper National Parks up in Alberta, Canada. The rivers were flowing so outrageously fast, you could take a rock as big as you could pick up and heave it into the river, and the splash would be 100 yards downstream. It never ceased to amaze me. You'd throw a rock as big as you could find, but the splash would not happen where the rock hit. It would be, the river was moving so fast. God says, when you go through the rivers, I will be with you. And you when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. God never tells us, uh, even though Christ is our cornerstone, and he is, man, he is. Uh, he doesn't say you're not going to go through it. You're going to go through it. I think you're going to go through it, you know, in, so to speak, in spades if you're a Christian. The servant is not above his master. If they have crucified me, Jesus would tell us, you think they're going to throw you a party? But here's some good news. He is Lord of all. He will never, never leave us nor forsake us. Well, Father, we thank you for those who are here today. And we know that in this pandemic, there are so many who right now, Father, are sick so many who, are, who, who have to be isolated for various reasons. I think of my own wife who's at home watching today and will have her new knee put in tomorrow. And uh, God, anytime we have to be put to sleep and the surgeon and the anesthesiologist come in, it's, 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 it can be overwhelming. Thank you, Lord, that we don't have to be overwhelmed because you are Lord of all. For those like Diane that are getting ready to go through a procedure, for those who have gone through a procedure and are recovering, for those that are in the nursing home, for those that are forward deployed today, watching us, even really in the midst of being in harm's way or, or at a moment's notice could be in harm's way, we thank you that you are the God who is there. And you are the God who has told us you, you are just on watch. You don't sleep, you don't slumber. You will never forsake us. You are Lord of all and you are Lord all the time. There is none beside thee. There is none like unto thee. There never has been. There never will be. You alone are God. And we just want to glorify you today. And Father, as we think about your majesty, we, we can't help but to think how feeble we are and how often we still, like sheep, go astray. And so today we cry out, forgive us, Master. As we begin a new year, dear God, Father, we, we just thank you that we have an opportunity to walk with you, to, to learn more of thee, to to grow with you, uh, to grow in you, to grow for you as our Lord and Savior, that others might see Christ in us and realize that you alone are also their hope of glory. And so God, help us, forgive us, Lord, cleanse us, make us more like your son. Rough us up, Lord, if we need it. Buff us up, Lord. Put us under your buffing machine to make us more like your son and we thank you father that you have predestined us to be conformed into his image and we know that that takes suffering you told us father that the captain of our salvation his mission was perfected for us and that he was crucified and that he suffered and died in our place so god help us to be like him help us to surrender to him help us to know that the christian life is more than victorious if we allow him to live through us in us and through us so God, we do pause to pray today for our missionary in focus, our family in, in the great state of Kansas who are beginning a multi-ethnic church. Bless them. Thank you, Father, that your children have been faithful here at Centerview and we enter the new church here, not under budget, but, but just ahead of budget. God, we want to be a great commission church. We don't ever want to pull back and isolate and just focus on ourselves. We want to be a great commission. We want to be mission-minded church, Lord, uh, supporting our missionaries even to the ends of the earth, Master. And to that end, we do pray for all of our missionaries today. We thank you for the Connor family, Lord, that, that asked us for a special shout out as Mark and Stacy were actually flying on New Year's Day to another uh, place where 
missionaries who live in war-torn lands could be encouraged by a, a, a chaplain for them, Lord God. We pray for our missionaries in the Philippines today, Lord, and, and just all points around the globe. Father, thank you that the gospel is not just being sounded forth here at Centerview, but the impact of your people is literally around the world. So we praise you, we thank you. Take charge of this service. Father, we can't help but notice that we are down in numbers today, but thank you, Lord, that you are with us, whether we gather in person or whether we listen online, that you are the God who is there, so that in everything that is said and done today, may you be glorified. And once again, Master, cause us to turn hard from our sin and to surrender hard to thee as our Lord and Savior. We offer this prayer in the matchless and the mighty and the strong name of Jesus Christ. And all of God's children said, amen. Let's worship the Lord again in song, and then we'll have a message from God's word. Let's stand and sing. In the darkness we will wake Without hope, without light Till from heaven you came running There was mercy in your eyes To fulfill the law and promise To a virgin came the word From a throne of endless glory To a cradle in the dirt Now the sky 